Regrettably, our country has been involved in too many unjust wars in recent years. Wars of conquest, wars for control, wars for oil. Crimes were committed in those wars in Afghanistan and in Iraq, including in Iraq, the killing of journalists. Much of what we know about those crimes was exposed by the fearless work of a journalist. A journalist who was exposed unlawful killing. A journalist who exposed US renditions. A journalist who exposed the horrors of Guantanamo Bay. A journalist invited to work in this country by the Guardian newspaper. A journalist who, as we meet today in our Parliament for this debate, is sitting in prison, in a British high security prison, solely because of his journalism. A journalist who now faces extradition to the United States for his award-winning journalism carried out here in Britain. A journalist who faces a 175-year sentence for exposing war crimes that would mean that he would spend the rest of his life behind bars in a super maximum security prison. A journalist whose potential extradition is opposed by Amnesty International, is opposed by the National Union of Journalists and is opposed by Reporters Without Borders. That journalist is Julian Assange. So I appeal to President Joe Biden now in the country for the G7 to drop the charges so that the extradition is called off. President Biden was of course Vice President when President Obama took the decision not to prosecute Julian Assange because of the huge damage it would have done to press freedom. Prosecuting Julian Assange would, in the words of Amnesty International, still have, and I quote, a chilling effect on the right to freedom of expression. That's why I raise this case today. That's why I urge President Biden to do the right thing.